You know, I think when people say they're going to the Cotswolds for a weekend, they expect to be staying in a very kind of traditional Cotswold stone cottage. And they are always very surprised when they arrive. And it kind of feels very unlike any property that you'd have in the Cotswolds. Well, I fell in love with the plot straight away. So as soon as I came down here, I just loved the isolation, the privacy, and I, I just became obsessed about feeling that you, you are physically right in the middle of nature. I mean, one thing the planners said is that we want the cottage to remain the most dominant feature on the site. And the way we had to design the extension, if you like, is never to see the whole extension at once. I think that's what makes the project interesting, is, is this dialogue. I think it would have been quite bland just to kind of literally build a very contemporary house closer to the lake. So what you'll do is when you arrive, you just get to see the bedroom wing and the cottage. And when you're this side of the building, you get to see the living room and the cottage, but you never see the whole kind of 70 meter, 80 meter extension in one hit. As you come down the driveway, all you see is a series of uh, retaining walls you don't actually see the full extent of the property. So you, you've no idea what you're gonna discover. I mean, I've sat in this room throughout all the different seasons, and it, even when it's pouring with rain, or snowing, or beautiful sunshine, every season is magical, just to look from, from this viewing screen almost. It doesn't have to be a sunny day for it, for it to look beautiful. To the point where I just wanted to kind of declutter this space so that, that your focus was on nature. When people see this property, they, they are pleasantly surprised at how something so contemporary can sit comfortably alongside a 1730s cottage. So once again, these doors kind of frame this view, which you get from every bedroom along the house. I find myself walking around the property, just kind of standing for a second, watching shadows moving around the space. Because at every different hour of the day, each space changes because of the amount of glazing. So we are in a room that has several functions. The first function is obviously my office. I think what's lovely about the location in, in the UK is that at night, when there are no clouds whatsoever, the stars are incredible. Hence, uh, a close friend of mine bought me this uh, telescope. So we're in the kitchen in the cottage, and you know the interesting challenge here was thinking about how to detail a, a contemporary kitchen that was actually sitting in a, in a period cottage. So what we've chosen is oak as a material, but we've detailed it in a contemporary way. This was all black paint. All of this was black, and we stripped everything back to the original stone by hand. Um, so this was, you know, a lot of work. And if you imagine in here, originally this was like an earth floor, and just try to kind of tastefully bring it back to what it would have been like. Well, this, believe it or not, is the master bedroom of the cottage. We put down an oak floor, but with an underfloor heating system, which obviously wouldn't have been the case. So once again, we've, we've tried to use a material that's very sympathetic to the existing beams uh, and, the, and the age of the cottage. We're in the bathroom of the cottage and it differs in that uh, there's no Corian whatsoever, still the natural oak throughout. So once again, contemporary detailing, but respecting the, the period property. You know, what I love are these kind of details of, of the window stays. The, you know, you can see the real craftsmanship and then you get to see the contemporary property beyond. So that relationship I love. This project was a real labor of love for me and it took up a lot of time and dare I say it, too much money. And I think you know, I'm gonna carry on enjoying this for as long as I can. And because, it's a, because it was such a labor of love, I would love my children to also enjoy it.